What's up? Smartphone charging pandas. Peter Von Panda here. Just bought this as a fast wireless charger. C108 car and desk mount. So you can mount it on your desk. Uh, I think I'm going to use it for a car, but I'm going to show you both methods here. And I really like these. You know, I didn't know they made them, but I guess I didn't have a wireless charging phone until fairly recently too. So looks like in the box here, we get a bunch of stuff. We get uh, the user manual, which I will hold on to in case we can't figure it out. We have the a power outlet for the 12 volt car adapter right here, USB plug on it. You can see 2.1 amps, pretty nice right there. We also have a micro USB cable, which you'll almost certainly need to power, to send power to the, the mount. And then we have a mounting arm like this. This is certainly one that you could use on a flat surface like a desk. You could use it on a dashboard if you have a nice kind of clean, smooth surface. And you can see here we have um, not only it's not only like a suction cup, but this is really sticky gel. Is that what they call it? Like a gel pad? We have a thumb screw there. Uh, this has definitely detents in it. It's not just friction. Like if I just kind of loosen it here, you might be able to hear the detents as we pass them. See that? So it's gonna kind of notch into place. Now, if I put this down here like this, tighten it down, we have a ball joint up there for um, Kind of adjusting the angle but you'll notice that we have a little thumb screw here so if i un unscrew that we also have reach on this bad boy so if you really want it to reach out you can certainly do that thumb screw that sucker down so let's say the smooth part of your dash is pretty far back you can put put this like that you can potentially um like I said, mount it on your desk. Not sure why you'd want it so far back, but I can, I can actually see at my desk, I have a big monitor and I don't have, and I have a lot of stuff in front of it, my keyboard and all my other stuff, little paper holders and things like that. So I can see putting this like behind my monitor to hold the mount out in front of it without taking up any precious real estate in front of the monitor. Now here is the charging mechanism itself. So pretty nice looking, pretty robust. Obviously we've got the, the, uh, the nut here that allows you to mount this on. So basically what you have to do is you've got to take this sucker, you got to slide it on here first because you're going to need to tighten it down. Then you just pop the sucker in there and then you attach this collar again and that's going to squeeze those um, four sides of the threaded portion down against the ball joint. So it's going to allow you to rotate this and then tighten it down in that position and now it won't rotate. So you've got that. You've got the micro USB port on the side here. Generally, I kind of like those on the bottom so that the cord hangs straight down. You know, as you might be able to see here, if I take a micro USB cable and pop it in this side like this, it kind of just sticks out the side. It's not really kind of my ideal. I like it if it were on the bottom, but you can get a little L elbow or an L bracket micro USB. I have that on one of mine so that it works then, um, so it doesn't interfere with anything. You have this little rubber circle here, which is gonna prevent any marring, but that means your charging coil is right behind there. The other thing is we can do here is you can see a little LED light. So I think when that's plugged in, um, I can pull this down so you can see the little detents there. You can adjust this. Uh, rubber pads that are angled slightly back to hold your phone in so it doesn't slide out that front. This is going to be kind of more of a permanent state. So you're going to kind of figure out what aligns the pad to your the receiver in your phone and just want to make sure that's appropriate. And then these arms are going to deploy with this little button on the back here. So if I hit this, this button, boom, they're kind of spring loaded. And you can see here that they also have rubber pads on the inside and again, flared out at the end so it's gonna hold that phone in so it's not gonna let it flop out. And then you can just squeeze it in here to get it to the right uh, width. So that's pretty nice. And if it's not the right width, you can just hit this and fly them out again. Sometimes you can put your phone in here and kind of squeeze it in so that it's not gonna come out. I kind of like having it right at the right size so that you can drop your phone in and out like, like so. So let me just demo it. So if I had, uh, okay like XS Max, I could put this in here. I might actually want to lower this a little bit to line up the coil. And then I would pull these things in there like that. So I get a nice tight fit. And you can see here, it won't flop out because of the flared edges. Now, if I pull this out and I take my iPhone uh, 
X. You can see how much skinnier that is. Now I can just squeeze these in, fits that too, doesn't fall out, and I can just lift it out of the top. So really, really nice. Um, let's see if it works with power. Now I'm not gonna be able to demo it, but I just tried it and it works, and that's because I'm recording on my iPhone and I just put it in here. But for example, I've got it hooked up to power here and I'll just tell you what it does. If I slide in my XS Max, uh, when it actually commits and connects and decides that it's actually setting power, this just stays red. So right now it's flashing because it's saying, hey, I'm detecting something, but it's not connecting because this is just a dummy phone. But if when I, when I put my real phone in here, put it in, found it right away, my phone started charging and this stays red. So you can see here that it absolutely works. So if I plug it in, it kind of flashes. So if you turn off your car and you lose power, when you re turn your car back on and the power accessory port gets power, it's gonna flash blue there and then it turns off. So pretty awesome. I really like this thing. It actually uh, was charging my phone. I kind of left it in there for a few minutes and you know, I got a percent back. So it's pretty awesome. And then like I said, you can adjust this in so many ways. I think it's gonna be really useful. Whether or not you're using this in the car, you know, whether it's at home or just uh, have it on a shelf of your desk or whatever, I think it's pretty cool. Check it out. I'll put a link to this in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.